What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Bear Weather and More. It's March 25th, 2024. And as you can already imagine, beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. This is the aftermath video. We're going to drive the whole entire main part of the valley so you guys can see the impact over near Highway 18 as you start driving down into the Lucerne Valley. And then we'll go over by the Big Bear Dam so you can see how much snow is over there. So remember, I predicted two or three inches of snow and all the news media said, or not all of it, but a lot of it said about a foot of snow, maybe more. I mean, this doesn't even look like two inches over here, but over by the Big Bear Dam, it will probably be significantly different. So I'm looking forward to seeing that today. If we get bigger storms, I would go back up to Onyx Summit a lot more. I just want you guys to know that. One of our friends from the channel asked me if I could go drive up there. But there's just not gonna be much, you know? It's it's a long way out of the way to not record something special. having fun over here at the Big Bear snow play doing a little sledding that's cool man that is cool anyway guys hope everyone's doing great hope you are getting a good start to your week remember if you're inclined to help the channel go to bigbearweatherandmore.com and check out some of the merchandise appreciate it and you'll look awesome everything from puffers to hoodies and tumblers and candles and t-shirts and beanies and everything and we got some more stuff coming out for the summertime as well we've been getting a lot of suggestions for summertime stuff so I think we know what we're gonna do for summertime storm is still looking pretty good I think that's gonna be a nice spring punch definitely looking forward to that guy yeah crazy yesterday when I was recording the update video right up here on the right hand side as I was coming back done filming some car was on its side Everyone was fine, thank goodness. Everyone was totally fine. But it's just, uh, with such slow speed limits, it's just shocking. It was in a 30 mile per hour zone. It was a truck. The truck was on its side. <coughs> and I have not been feeling good, I gotta tell you. But I'm so obsessive compulsive about this channel, like I always have to do what I've been doing. Next weekend there is a chance of up to a foot of snow you guys Saturday and Sunday so gosh I hope it happens and if it does don't forget if you're coming up here to go skiing and snowboarding get your rentals at get boards on Big Bear Boulevard 
one block away and two blocks away from the village on Big Bear Boulevard. You have Get Boards Ride Shop and Get Boards Ski Shop. If you mention I sent you and bring in your own equipment, they'll wax it for free. They'll take care of you. These are good, good people. The owner, Tony, is just so cool. Like, he's just, he's, he's the nicest guy. And as I tell you guys all the time, he cares about you guys big time. He realizes it. it's the tourism that makes this town go. He's not greedy. He's very intelligent. So yeah, hope you guys give Get Boards a shot. snow in some of these like shady areas over here. outside yeah none of this new snow is gonna last till we get our next snowstorm that's for sure but the next snowstorm it's gonna be happening really close to our ski resorts closing so as I said please try to get up here you guys and take advantage of this good sized winter <coughs> winter sp spring storm a winter storm in spring As we get closer, I'll keep you guys posted on it through the community section of the page. up here this was my favorite area it was just so so different than anywhere else up here most of this area doesn't have any trees obviously we're going through trees right now but most of this area didn't have any trees and it just seemed like you were in the very high desert you'll get that perspective any moment now once we get through these trees
Baldwin Lake. nothing over here for snow. It's just crazy how it works like that basically all the time. back here on highway 18 if you go this direction and make it go around that left little curve you're gonna start going down the mountain into Lucerne Valley into the high desert and we are technically now in the least snowiest part of this whole entire valley yep this is it
that just knowing about that will help me rest at night. I'll let you know, brother. resorts to the left here.
That's one of my favorite neighborhoods in this whole town. Right in here. Now we're gonna go do the lake. So we just went through the least snowy part of town first to hopefully save the good stuff for the last part of the video. So we'll see. Let's see what we got. The further we go this direction, closer to the dam. You know, something I didn't do much of this season was take a walk along the lake. We just never really had enough snow. I'm sure I could have done it a couple times though. There's more snow over here. It's not much, but we're getting more and more the further we go this direction. And it will continue to be like that.
San Gorgonio looks amazing with all that snow on it. Wow. That mountain gets so much snow. You know, years ago they were considering building a ski resort up there, and I think Disney was uh, going to be involved. I still think it's a good idea. That would be amazing. I know the logistics would be nearly impossible, but where there's a will, there's a way. downtown Fonskin, folks. And coming up to Grout Creek Tributary. There's not much snow over here. It's still a lot more than there was on the other side of town because there was nothing on the other side of town. And as I said, once we get over by the dam and on the other side of the lake, I bet we won't see that many dry patches. It'll be snow everywhere. Looks like we drove into a winter paradise, doesn't it? drive alongside the lake because you're right on top of it here
at the Big Bear Dam. And as I said, once we make the left-hand turn, there's probably not going to be a lot of dry patches of snow through the first part of this drive on the other side of the lake here. It is a beautiful day, though. It's definitely a beautiful day. It just feels like you're in a completely different area from five minutes ago.
traffic. No big deal. Well, that traffic let up magically, didn't it? Where'd they go? I think there was like a gray truck in front of us. It's just disappeared. Temperatures dropped down to 43 degrees. And our last little push on this aftermath video will be through the village. Again, it's just amazing how little snow there is. After next weekend's storm, I bet most of that snow is going to be gone within a couple days, even if we get a foot of snow. Thanks for cruising with me. Hope you enjoy these rides as much as I like giving them. I'm always interested to see in how much snow we have on either side of town. For me, it's always fascinating. I don't know why, it just is. Extremely tired. I wish that I didn't feel like such poop right now. So, we are literally about done with this, guys. So, do me a favor. If you guys like and appreciate the efforts I put into this, do me a solid and hit that like and subscribe button. Show me a little extra love. I'd appreciate it. You guys already show me so much love. So, But, yeah, please, please do that for me. I'd really, really appreciate it. Hit the notification bell for any new videos. I know this is a very niche type of a genre that I'm doing here. So I never even expected the channel to get to this many subscribers. But I'm grateful for each and every single one of you, I'll tell you that much. Let's see if this guy can do a good parallel parking job. Let's see, not so, oh, not bad, not bad. Swing it forward, you got this, good job. Good job, brother. It makes me proud. Anyway, thanks again, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. I will talk to you all later. That was the aftermath. Not much, but that was the aftermath. Take care, guys, peace.